Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I'm here with a couple of very late unboxings. BoxyCharm and my Ipsy bag. The reason being that, um, well, first of all, <laughs> I've been really busy. As you guys know, I had to do an empties set of videos <laughs> because I just had so much stuff. So, like, I felt like I couldn't move on past anything else until I did that. So, in the interim, I got my June Ipsy and my June BoxyCharm, which were my last boxes for those uh, subscriptions. I also did get my Allure June box, but I think I'm going to hold off um, and do that in a separate video. So, anyway, <laughs> this is it on these. I'm going to miss them both, and I really hate that I had to cancel them, but you know, money is not like growing on trees in my backyard. So anyway, it was time to say goodbye. Plus when you see me do my declutter, that'll be coming up in the next couple weeks. You'll see why I canceled stuff. I don't like, I can't see decluttering only to make room for more stuff. So I need to stop getting more stuff. And so that's why I'm doing these. I'm going to do the cheaper one first and then I'll do the more expensive one with the full size stuff in it. Um, so I will start first with Ipsy. Ipsy is $10 a month. It's tailored to you to some degree. Mine is pretty nicely tailored to me because I always do the reviews. This is like the thinnest bag I've ever gotten though. So. You know, I'm wondering what's missing. This is an okay bag. It's like a fabric that's coated with plastic. Um, so it's pretty nice, but it's very basic. And I really wanted the yellow one. This bag came in like a lot of different colors, but yellow is my favorite color. You'd never know it because I'm wearing a black t-shirt, but um, this is like the clean the house vacuum um, clothing <laughs> so I'll be changing uh, shortly when I do my stitch fix unboxing so anyway there's a bunch of stuff in here starting first with a sample of the bare minerals anyway it's a serum that's supposed to be pretty good so I'll be anxious to try that it does come in a little tiny tube I'm not going to open it because I already got a free one from a box of stuff that I got um, at Marshall's and so this truly is a sample but it's not a really tiny sample. The card doesn't really say anything. It's got pictures of the people who are involved. On the back however it does say something about Makeup Forever, uh, something having to do with the primer that's in here. Okay now Seriously, this stuff is so small. But anyway, this is Dr. Leela Lean. Freaking Sauter. I think I need to put my glasses on. Um, so because the things are so small that the writing is really small. Okay, <laughs> back to this stuff. Um, this is replenish, renew purify I don't know but anyway it's supposed to be really good for your skin so to the little jar that made me put my glasses on this is from Dr. Lily Lilla Lily fan um, probiotic eye repair cream now this is eye cream and I do expect the eye creams to be very small so I'm not surprised um, that this, I thought it was like a face lotion, but it's actually, why is the camera not, let me back up a little bit. Um, I do expect that an eye cream is gonna be small. So this is really small. Um, uh, <laughs> and it's only half full. So, <laughs> I actually will put this right into my um, bathroom um, organizer and use this right up because this is like really too small to even bother to keep around otherwise. Plus I just opened it so I just started the clock on that item. 
So the next item is the thing I'm really happy to get, and that is this Be Bright. It's from Koki Illuminating Concealer. I have a lot of concealer, but I'm anxious to see if this one works. I believe this is a full size. It doesn't look like a trial size. Uh, it's 0.2 fluid ounces, which I can use up in my lifetime. So I'm not disappointed with the size. I'm pretty happy with this. And um, yeah, I don't want to open it though. I hope you guys don't mind, but I don't want to start the clock rolling on this item. I have so many uh, concealers. Okay, and there are two more items in here. There's one that um, is cruelty free and that is this Finding Ferdinand. <laughs> anyway, it's still sealed. It's perfect color for me. I really like the color. It doesn't say that it's matte. Matte products, they just don't suit me. Um, I've been finding that out even more so. This is called Finding Ferdinand and it's kind of like a natural looking color. Like, I, I just, um, I'm looking forward to trying that, but I'm not going to unseal it until I start to use it. Pretty cool. Okay, and the last thing is a MAC Prep and Prime Primer. Um, I think I have another one of these, but I will definitely try this. But I will never buy it because MAC is not cruelty free, mainly because it sells in China. So this is like actually a pretty nice bunch of stuff that's very, very suited to my particular skin needs and um you know i'm i'm pretty happy with these i'm happy with especially with the concealer because i can never quite get enough concealer to try to like mask all the darkness so anyway i'm pretty happy with this now for ten dollars that's actually not bad okay so Finally, to the last BoxyCharm. This was a really hard subscription to let go of because I just, I really love getting the full size stuff and it's always good stuff. So anyway, there is the, what it looked like inside. And they give you this card that has all the products. I did sign up for June again. I know I quit in May, but then I debated the brushes, like really thought I really like Luxie brushes. I really want those brushes, but then I was like, I really don't need those brushes. So anyway, I signed up and this for me is the star of the show. So um, yeah, this, these are, Luxie brushes are freaking gorgeous. They have like rose gold bevel and they're like for face and I really really like these brushes a lot. Next, um, this is funny because it's eyelashes <laughs> and my daughter gave me her set that came in her box and here they are and they're not terribly long. I mean they don't look like they're terribly long. They're really soft they're cruelty free, so they're not, you know, made, of, I think they're all synthetic. Uh, <laughs> I do wear lashes, but only occasionally, which I think I'm going to start to wear lashes a little bit more again, because the only reason that I don't wear them more often in my videos is because I'm not really good at it yet. So um, now I have two sets of these and I actually have a bunch of Ardell lashes. Ardell is cruelty free. So yeah, I, are, I have a bunch of Ardell. Okay, so this thing I knew was gonna be small and I don't care because there is so much hype surrounding this product. And I think it's irresponsible of people to be going, you've got to get this because that's all you hear about this product. And there are other creams that I'm sure leave your skin just as soft. And it is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Boom Boom, whatever they want to call it, Bum Bum Cream. And it's a sample size. And yeah, I'm sure it's wonderful. And I'm sure that it 
it's like, you know, really nice. But for crying out loud, $40 for a full size. So this is a, worth about probably uh, travel size. I think I got another one of these in another box. Um, these can't be worth that much, but I haven't calculated it out. It'll be on the card somewhere, and I, I don't really do the price thing anymore. So, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'll enjoy it, but I have a lot of creams that leave my skin feeling super soft. So, I already have, like, creams and lotions and oils and stuff. And I just don't see what all the fuss is about. You know, um, big YouTubers are out there, probably got it theirs for free, and they're like, you've got to buy this, it's wonderful. Okay, well, you know, knock it off. Not everybody wants to spend $40 on a body cream. So I'm off my soapbox, and I will let that go. Now, I did get this Ofra lip cream. It's, I think it's matte, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Long-lasting liquid lipstick. Better than matte. My daughter put hers on and she really liked it. Um, I'm going to leave this sealed for now. Well, it's, it actually doesn't have like a tape covering on it. But I'm pretty sure that I might end up giving this away because I'm not sure I need it. There's a lot of stuff in this box. I just realized that there's one, two, three, four, five, six items including this sample. So this is probably number six for a reason. So normally BoxyCharm is always five full-size items. This is the only thing that's not full-size and so therefore I think that is number six. So there's also a pencil here and it's Janta Blue <laughs> um, eyeliner pencil. I think it's a dark blue. Yeah it is. Let's see. Uh, I didn't show you the pencil there. There's the name, Jante Blue. I think it is blue, bluish black. Okay, so it does draw a really nice fine line, but I did rub it all over my hand so we could see what color it really is. And I think it's more black than blue. I would have liked a blue eyeliner. This has like a, a slightly like super dark blue um, end on it, which is what made me think that this would be like a color. And I think it might be a color, but it's like a very slight color. So yeah, I wish I didn't just do that because now I can't give this away. <laughs> um, so anyway, the last thing, <laughs> definitely won't part with this. It actually has the Pita Bunny on the back, which really makes me happy to see um, immediately, right away. There's the Pita Bunny. And it is this Alamar palette. And a lot of people have been raving over this. Oh, I'm getting hand cream all over it. <laughs> oh, God. And now I can see why. Oh, mine is broken! It's broken. Uh, I don't, I'm not a member anymore, so I don't know if they'll honor this, but um, one thing they do for members is if something's broken, they will replace it for you. Um, so I know what's going to happen when I tip it up. So I'm going to put a piece of tape over it. So I was just saying how beautiful it was when I noticed that it was broken. And it is the darkest color down in the bottom here. I put a piece of tape over it to hold everything in place. Honestly, not a color I probably would use anyway. So if BoxyCharm doesn't replace this for me, then I guess I won't be ter terribly heartbroken. But I'll bust that out and uh, clean that pan out. So anyway, this is very, very pretty. It's the first time I've ever gotten something broken from BoxyCharm. And I'm not a member anymore. I quit. What the hell? <laughs> so I guess I should have looked at this. I just trusted that it wasn't going to be broken. And I was waiting to do this um, unboxing until I got like a lot of stuff done. So anyway, um, that is broken. That will go in the garbage 
but the rest of it I can still use and the colors are stunning. Like this gold is like unbelievable. Look at that. Also the colors, the blue colors underneath, like there's a tealy color and a, and they're all like sparkle except for these colors are matte, which is helpful because you do need some matte shadows to make these things work. So this is not really an all-inclusive palette I would use. Oh, I got like stuff all over my hands from trying to fix that. But anyway, um, this is not an all-inclusive palette. You still would have to use another palette that had a bunch of neutrals in it in order to make this work. But these are beautiful colors. So yeah, and I can't believe one. Seriously, I could have used that <laughs> like under the eye and stuff. Ah, so I am happy with this except for the broken palette. <laughs> um, you know, it's just one of the colors which is typical of these things when they break. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed these unboxings, even though they're a month late. This one, you know, Ipsy is always different for everybody. And so this is like kind of timeless, but of course the June box is one that you've seen unboxed multiple times. You just haven't seen me unbox mine. So, Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Join the Reviewer's Diary family. And have a beautiful evening. Good night.